uh, we know that there is uh, a lot of work that has to be done. You know, we're through the initial crisis of um, the tornado and people losing almost everything. Now we need to help those individuals rebuild their lives and uh, their homes. And uh, we have some specific uh, numbers we'd like to uh, ask Michael to release in terms of money raised and uh, steps on a go-forward basis. What we wanted to do today was to come together as some of the, or, of the community's uh, most uh, strongest institutional organizations, many of whom have been involved in the crisis phase of this. The food banks, the Salvation Army, we heard countless stories about how they have stepped up to the plate uh, immediately afterwards. But we recognize that as a group, uh, we, we will shift from an emergency phase to a recovery phase. And in that, we recognize that there are some people who are still feeling this as an emergency. People who have lost their food, people who have lost their home. As life begins to continue, the commitment that we have made is that we will not forget anybody. Um, and so we will monitor and come together on a regular basis to pool our efforts in terms of where the needs are, identify where those needs are, prioritize them as best we can, and apply our ongoing efforts to generate resources and revenues. We heard many, many needs this morning, from the councillors who are on the ground uh, to the agencies who are doing this work. So our work is just beginning to aggregate both our efforts, uh, our identification of needs, and our resources.